Hey, thank you. Well, as the countdown is on for the storm's arrival, first responders are ready and a lot of equipment is in position just in case. KSBY News reporter Fabiola Ramirez looks into just how crews are preparing. She joins us now live in Montecito. Bobby. Well, Karina, at this hour, most of the crews that are going to be out and about monitoring the area are asleep, getting some rest before those heavy rains. And while they'll be staying away from high risk areas, they will be driving around just in case. Multiple agencies from across the state are set up and ready in case the rain creates mud and debris flows. We are strategically placing people throughout the central coast because once again, we don't know exactly where this rain is going to hit and with 100% certainty, the intensity that it's going to hit with either. As the heavy bands of rain draw near, crews and their equipment are already near areas of high risk, not only here in Montecito, but also near burn areas in Carpinteria. Resources are now in place as fire equipment, personnel, uh, urban search and rescue team, swift water rescue team, uh, high clearance vehicles from the National Guard, the incident management team has been stood up and they're prepared to, to lead. Additional rescue trucks and high profile military vehicles are stationed at Earl Warren showgrounds, ready to rescue people. Officials say, of course, the hope is that people have evacuated as asked and no rescues will be needed. Apart from stationary crews, first responders will drive around throughout the night and into the morning hours, patrolling the area. We will have crews out 24 hours until we assess tomorrow what work either needs to be done or doesn't need to be done based on the intensity of the storm as it comes through. So there's going to be a lot of crews out patrolling, a lot of sleepless nights again for many of our responders and folks from various agencies throughout the Central Coast here. And we hope to have good news when sunrise comes tomorrow. All agencies will have additional resources from extra firefighters, extra CHP officers, and dispatchers. Live and local in Montecito, I'm Fabiola Ramirez, KSBY News. All right, Fabi, I think she put it best. Hopefully good news when the sun rises. Thank you for that. And everyone in the county is asked to register through Santa Barbara County's website to receive alerts in case any further evacuations or closures are issued. We have that information at KSBY.com.